beautiful denim. Go on, finish it. Tell our people, tell them this. It was my scheming brought us here. Did you intend this all along? Either death, yours or mine, serves to unite the resistance. Though, in truth, I'd much rather it been yours. <coughs> we harbor none of Vice's nobles or their pets now, do we? The new Wallister Alliance will... <coughs> will join you. Welcome them. All rests on you now. You have the strength. You have the strength. Ugh! Who can know if the path we choose is right or wrong? I will fear no reproach, for man is a creature of sorrow and fault, and ever will be. Four weeks had passed since the fall of Rhine. Swift on the heels of their victory, it seemed certain the Buckram would continue their march. Yet, contrary to expectations, they made no move to strike at Almorica. In Fridock Castle too, the Dark Knight's silence gave no token they might quit their fastness and cast their lot with war. The eyes of Valeria watched. Not content to sit by and wait, Hierophant Bulbato set out to capture Almorica Castle at the head of a massive host. In crushing the castle's defences with overwhelming force, he hoped to minimise his own losses while deterring the Buckram advance. With the Burnham Massif standing as a natural barrier protecting the seat of Galgastani power in Kuritana, any invading armies would be forced to pass first through Almorica Castle. The terrain at his advantage, Bulbato saw little danger in committing the forces of Kuritanai Keep to the siege on Almorica. As the Gargastani armies emerged from the Sonji Weald, word of Bulbatos' plans reached Denim. What am I to do with you, Barbus, huh? One cannot deny your insubordination. To act without leave of the High Champion is strictly forbidden, whatever the circumstance. Time and again you were ordered to return, and each time you've ignored your orders. Only now do you deign to grace these halls. I am galled. Galling, yes, the obstinate lout. Go on, beg forgiveness. You talk too much, Martum, and I have an ill temper. 